about to do a team practice here. Got here a little early, gonna do my own stuff, but before I do, go inside, I'm gonna stay outside, I'm gonna do those breathing techniques that we talked about, so just breath holds. Walking, exhale, hold breath for as many paces as you can, challenge your breathing, take a little break, go again five times. It's gonna get your lungs warmed up and get you ready. It's also gonna improve your stamina, so keep working on those breath holds. After the breath hold, you want to really focus on staying calm with your breath, not panting, not over breathing. Nasal breathing, keep it going and really just try to calm your breathing as quickly as possible before you go for the next one. So there I could have gone a little longer, I just wanted to show you an example. But do those breath holds, you can feel it's challenging your lungs, it's going to improve your stamina, it's going to get you ready to play. Technical session, everyone's favorite. I invited my friend out here, he's a goalkeeper, a friend and a teammate, asked him if he could come out. You may not have that luxury, but if you do take benefit and your friend, your teammate may enjoy getting some extra training and may be happy to come out and join you, so you never know unless you ask. So I do have a big bag of balls here, honestly the more balls you can start acquiring the better for your training. They don't have to be good balls, they can be really poor quality, but more of them is better because you're going to get more repetitions and more repetitions if done with quality means more improvement so we're lucky we got this great facility here if you don't have a facility like this it's not an excuse okay you deal with what you have uh, it is indoor season and we're very lucky that we have this so I take advantage when I can but whether you're playing at the park or you could do this at a wall stop making excuses don't look for reasons why you can't train like this just find a way to Take these ideas, take these drills, and make your own version of this routine. So here we're working on technique. I'm all I'm all about uh, making players who can actually create something in a game. So a lot of us, we can pick up passes and we can keep possession of the ball. But can you score goals? Can you make assists? Can you create chances for your team? And in order to do that, you have to practice in a specific way. So like every workout, we're going to do a warm-up. And I was a little rushed, so I sped through this one, but same warm-up as usual. You can do the leg swings. Um, I missed the rotations on this one, but the downward dog, upward dog, and just take your time. Don't rush. If you need to get there a little earlier to take more time and focus on your warm-up, then I would really recommend you do that. Never neglect the importance. I learned that the hard way. I tore my quad. Uh, maybe three years ago you may have remembered if you've been watching me for a while and that was because I didn't have a good warm-up I just went on the field and played a game because I wanted to play I wasn't smart and it ended up being the worst decision because it really held me back for about a year so take the time do a proper warm-up it's gonna make you a better athlete in the end you're getting benefit from these mobility stretches they're making you more athletic they're making you less prone to injury they're warming you up. It's it's like fitness training at the same time, strength training, core training. So really take your time with that. So the first technical drill I would do is long passing. So here we're just starting with pinging a few balls on the ground, keep it nice and easy to start. Again, you want to ease into it. You don't just want to get super excited and go blasting balls as hard as you can right away. That's how you get injured. But just easing into it with some low passes. So here we're trying to play two touch. Good first touch out of your feet and then play a productive pass, play an accurate pass, try to hit him in the air, no bounce before it gets to your teammate, try to make it land right on his foot or right on his chest. I really hate leaving the ball short, so I'd rather over hit it than under hit it. Alternating feet each time, focus on the quality of your first touch, can you get that first touch out of your feet, and then ping that pass, really focus on a nice flexed foot, striking under the ball, swiping under the ball, Keep that foot flexed through contact. Don't let your ankles, don't let your toes go weak. 
and practice on both sides even if your weak foot isn't as good it's not going to get any better unless you get those repetitions so if you don't have a teammate you could do some wall passing you could pass at a wall from distance if you don't have that luxury then let's just do a little more shooting a little more ball striking but really you should focus on long passing especially during the winter season if you have to play indoor like me because it's a skill that you lose this was just me getting the goalkeeper a few warm-up shots um, and also just working on my footwork getting my feet going getting things moving always focusing on that sharpness but that was more for him so the first shooting drill is just a finesse finish trying to play two touch one to control and one to place it in a corner so all of these were, are with the inside of the foot a finesse finish or a placed finish one to get it out of your feet one to bend it in a corner so right foot left foot taking your time get your head up well don't take your time actually try to do it quickly but be composed don't rush yourself but you're trying to focus on good first touch and then quick finish with composure this is a habit a skill that you need to develop so you can do it under pressure in games because so many times in games we get good opportunities but we just snatch our shots or we just try to hit it with our laces when if we just took the time to place it in a corner we probably score a lot more goals the next one is a one-on-one -on -one finish with the keeper so here practicing running with the ball with speed towards the goal and practicing your finishing now if you don't have a goalkeeper that's fine just practice or you don't have someone to pass you the ball that's fine just practice taking a, a heavy first touch and then chasing the ball down composing yourself with one touch and finishing with the next can you finish with both feet if you can practice with a goalkeeper, obviously it's great because it's going to give you more variety. But even if you're practicing by yourself, practice finishing with variety. But the biggest thing here is dribbling with pace. First touch out of your feet, attack quickly, and then compose yourself for a quick finish. So if you have a teammate, he can play you on a through ball. If you're practicing by yourself, as I said, take a big first touch and then chase it down. Try to compose yourself for a finish if you have a goalkeeper great take advantage but no excuses you make your own workout you make this work for yourself so don't look for reasons why you can't do these drills show me how you can figure out ways to do these drills really focus on that good calm finish trying to find those corners the next drill is crossing and finishing again in the winter so important that you practice this because this was the first time that i had done it in a while and honestly we were struggling on the quality on both sides, especially with the finishing. It's just a, a finish you don't.